Casino Royale versus Casino Royale. Uh, a little bit of history first. This was actually done as a third Casino Royale before this uh, uh, as a black and white TV movie. And so those rights had been purchased for that, which meant that when Cubby Broccoli bought up all the Ian Fleming book rights, uh, that wasn't part of the deal, which is why this one was floating around separately and was able to be made into this movie in 1967. So. The 1967 Casino Royale, um, it stars Peter Sellers, David Niven, it's got Ursula Andress in it from Dr. No, um, and it, it was made as a, a it, it's very, very loosely based on the book, and uh, it was made as a spoof, um, but uh, man, it has five directors, and it really shows. <laughs> it's, it is such a mess. Um, there's very little connectedness between the different segments that each of the five directors did, and it's really, really hard to keep track of what is going on. Um, you kind of get the plot that, you know, the original James Bond was actually the kind of straight-laced guy, and all the Bonds after him have been imposters that, you know, they've just done to kind of keep up his image, but... <sighs> It really makes no sense. There's about 10 or 15 minutes in the middle where uh, Orson Welles is playing Le Chiffre in the casino that are pretty fun, pretty fun. But overall, I didn't find it very funny at all. I think you need to be in some sort of altered state to really enjoy this movie. Now, the Casino Royale from 2006 is a completely different story. It's really, really close to the book, and Craig is awesome, I think. <laughs> I really like him as Bond, and I like that they've made it a fresh start for him. I mean, which is appropriate for the book, because that was the first book he was in, but it's also um, just kind of stripping away all of the crap, all of the cruft that had glommed onto the Bond franchise over the years, especially in the last two Pierce Brosnan films, that even though I like Brosnan, it was just like this massive effects and, and gadget fest, and it really detracted from the story at that point. I think this is getting back to the, the, the bare meat of the story, and there's a lot of uh, good um, techniques that are used as far as like camera work to just, um, you know, show Craig being a little bit less mature, a little bit uh, naive in the ways of being a spy, but um, showing that he can do it and that he's slowly moving in that direction, he's slowly becoming more mature. For your chance to win one of three copies of the new two-disc Blu-ray release of Casino Royale, just comment on any of the James Bond films we'll be reviewing on Butter Flavored Minute. For official rules, check our blog at butterflavoredminute.com.